Hello and welcome to another update video about INJ. INJ shows a little bit of consolidation right here, broke to a new all-time high. And um, yeah, my wave count is still valid. I still want to um, focus on it until it gets invalidated, which will take a while because, you know, extensions are always possible, further extensions. So again, my commentary that I always make um, in bullish structures, we should not assume that a top is in place at all until we see a first micro support level break. In this video, we try to establish what that micro support level could be. Quick look at the bigger picture. Um, the current scenario is being fulfilled. Yeah, We have um, of the 22 lows, a five wave structure to the upside. We're basically now in a fifth wave. Within this fifth wave, um, we're dealing with an A, B, a C structure. And we are now likely in the C wave. And this is a five wave move that you can see in yellow here. One, two, three, four, five. The only thing where I could be, um, I shouldn't say wrong, but where we might need to um, make an adjustment really is um, due to the microstructure here. This is pretty unclear. So I might very well be able to put another one, two setup in here, you know, and then we just see another four, five. That's what I mean, you know, it's, as soon as a wave count is full, we're driving on site until we have further clarity. What we will do typically is just to track micro support and we'll highlight that, yeah, we can focus on higher. We go with the trend until certain support levels break. And Elliott Wave basically tells us which support levels these are. Uh, of course, not a guarantee, but um, helpful. So. Currently, we see another potential bull flag here, okay? And uh, this is what we often see in bullish markets. And I highlighted in the last video that um, I think I would prefer for the price to then, if we get a break above this high, yeah, after the price turned around in our support area, if we get a break above the old, is that the all time high? Let me just double check that. Thought it was, yeah. So we've made a new all time high. So as soon as we get a break above that level, um, we can focus on the ascending trend line here around, you know, $40, maybe a little lower. So pay attention to that one if that is reached. Um, but we have to focus on higher because extensions are always possible. You know, a lot of FOMO is generated once all time highs are taken out. And um, this is a bullish market. Some people still talk about bear market, even though coins are making all time highs. Um, so. What we're looking for is, um, here, as I said, this potential bullish flag. So what you might want to use as a breakout indication is here just a small, um, not sure if I should use this, this looks more like a pennant, but I think this is more reliable if we use the candle, the closed candles, um, low points. So yeah, bit, bit of a descending wedge there going on um, in a way five. So again, you know, we, we might have a small one, two. That's always difficult to identify. Small one, two setups are often small, the initial ones in on crypto charts. So we might have a small one, two. Um, this could be a three, four. And then we're looking still at higher in this way, five. So I would still at the, this move down looks corrective. So it suggests still trend continuation to the upside. In parallel, what I will do, and it takes a bit of time, is to explore more extended bullish um, scenarios because, I mean, I cannot guarantee that we will get this wave too soon. Yeah, extensions are always possible. Thing is, you know, what 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 else could be the case? I mean, I've got a wave one, I've got a wave two, I've got a clear wave three, I've got a wave four. Um, the only thing, let me just double check something. Yeah, but also not really. So yeah, I need to really think about this. Um, need to really think about it. I mean, the only thing where, oh, but also that's not possible. I can't make that a one, two, one, two setup. So yeah, um, I think this is, um, even though it's a diagonal wave count, it's for me the best we've got at the moment. But with a diagonal, the, the risk is always that we may need to make some adjustments. But for now, the trend is being followed and uh, I think it's going quite well. So let's see if there is a reaction to the upper boundary line of that trend channel. At the moment, I would assume we get there. Okay. Yeah, that's my update about um, injective protocol. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, 
then please check out the channel membership. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.